Good afternoon and welcome on behalf of the College of St. Benedict and St. John's University. It's my honor to welcome all of you to this happy and auspicious occasion. Students, faculty, division heads, members of the Academic Affairs Committee, Provost Rita Knezel, um, Academic Dean Do Joe Desjardins, thank you for joining us in this celebration. We're pleased to have Mr. Tom Schlue, Secretary of the CSB Board of Trustees, and Jim Fry, I th he's, I'm not seeing him, but uh, I, he was supposed to come anyway. And he, uh, <laughs> So uh, maybe he'll still be arriving. Anyway, welcome. Uh, and uh, they, they represent our boards. And uh, both of them have given great support to St. Ben's and St. John's. A very special welcome to our Phi Beta Kappa national guests, the Associate Secretary Scott Lurding, uh, Vice President Kate Soul and the National Secretary of Phi Beta Kappa, Dr. John Churchill. Also, Joe and Nancy Imura, uh, they're special guests and special benefactors of Phi Beta Kappa, so welcome all of you. Not everyone may know that Phi Beta Kappa Society was founded in 1776 and is the nation's nation's oldest and most prestigious academic honor society. The installation of St. Ben's and St. John's as new members represents the first time in Phi Beta Kappa's 234 year history that a joint chapter has been granted. And it is the first new chapter in Minnesota since 1983. So this is truly a great honor for all of us. As we celebrate this momentous occasion, I would also like to thank everyone who worked so hard over the past three years to make this installation possible. Thank you, Dr. Sanford Moskowitz and Dr. Richard Alvarez, who were the faculty leaders throughout this process. Special thanks to President Marianne Benninger and her staff who worked so diligently to shepherd this application through to the end. And let's also remember my predecessor, Brother Dietrich Reinhardt. He didn't live long enough to hear the official announcement last fall, but he was a uh, uh, very ardent supporter of this application from the outset and would have been pleased to attend this event today. And finally, I'd like to thank all of our chapters committee for their tireless work doing absolutely everything that's led up to this evening's events. Welcome once again to everybody. I hope you enjoy this evening and now I turn this over to Secretary Churchill. Good evening. Thank you, Mr. President. And Madam President, it is a delight to be on this campus. As you have heard, I'm John Churchill, Secretary of the Phi Beta Kappa Society. I and my colleagues have come to the College of St. Benedict and St. John's University today representing the Council of the Phi Beta Kappa Society with authority to act on its behalf in the creation and installation of a new chapter of Phi Beta Kappa. Joining me today in the celebration, as you've already heard, are our National Vice President, Kate Soule of Dartmouth College, the Associate Secretary, Scott Lurding, and Dr. Joseph and Mrs. Nancy Whiteside Yomura. This is a happy and important moment in the life of these institutions. The creation of this chapter is the result, as you have heard, of years of effort by those members of the faculty and administration in Collegeville and in St. Joseph who belong to the society, but in a broader sense, 
It's the result of a lifetime, or many lifetimes, of labor and accomplishment by all faculty, administrative staff, students, and supporters who have created at the College of St. Benedict and St. John's University a unique consortium uniting these institutions in remarkable excellence in the liberal arts and sciences. We trust that the installation of this chapter fulfills hopes entertained by all who serve here now and who have served here so well. The Governing Council of Phi Beta Kappa, having carried out a rigorous process of evaluation, is assured that these institutions embrace and uphold the highest academic standards in an ongoing commitment to excellence in the teaching and learning of the liberal arts and sciences. The Council therefore voted on October 2nd, 2009, that a charter be granted to the members of Phi Beta Kappa assembled here, and that in accord with its provisions, they be empowered to function in every respect as a chapter of the society. Associate Secretary Scott Lurding will now read that charter document, and as it does designate the charter members of this chapter individually by name, I would ask them all now to rise, please, and remain standing in their places. <laughs> 